Those close to 61-year-old Susan Furr says she had a beautiful heart. Sue was a very, very sweet person. There's nothing that she wouldn't do for anybody. She was an overachiever. If you needed anything, all you had to do was ask. I obtained this surveillance video from the Quick Mark where Fur worked. This video is from the night before her death. Susan is alive and well. 24 hours later, she'd be gone. My feelings right now, I'm very numb. I'm sick to my stomach. Whoever did it, you know, I just hope they serve a long term time. Her co-workers, Joni and Danielle, who didn't want their face on camera, told NBC24 this all started when they noticed Fur's car was missing from her driveway on Friday night, when she'd usually be out walking her dog. They say when she didn't answer her door and they didn't hear her dog barking, they called the Toledo Police Department. One of uh, the employers uh, where Ms. Fur works called because she was concerned for her safety. She did not show up for work the night before at a local carryout where she was employed. Went to the residence, actually had a forced entry into the house, which we did, and when we got inside the house, we found her um, deceased uh, in a suspicious manner. Both women described Fur as the type of person who was always helping others. To them, she was more than just a coworker. She was a close friend, someone they considered family. We did everything together. She took me to all my appointments, and she, one thing about her, she was goofy. And Fur's body was found in the basement of her home on Friday, July 25th at 10.15 p.m. Toledo police have ruled this case a homicide. Vondalyn Diaz, NBC, 24 News.